everyone, it's Inez from How Inez Rolls. Looking a little 80s, aren't I? Well, stick around because we're gonna have some fun today. So I'm on my way to a friend's 80s birthday party and it got me thinking, oh, I wonder what some foods that we ate when we were in the 80s. I could think of a couple of things. So I'm gonna show you um, a couple, maybe one of those things. I have uh, uh, some ideas. So, but let me show you my outfit. Oh, yes. And little clip, girls, you remember those back in the day? But look at this eyeshadow. And I got the highlighter going on. It is so, so fun to do all this dress up with my friends. So we're gonna, I'll take you along with me to the skating rink and I'll just show you everybody all dressed up and then we'll get started making our recipe. Does that sound so fun? I'm so excited. Like gag me with a spoon. Okay, maybe not because then you might vomit, but we're gonna get started. So we just pulled up and we're gonna go roller skating. Are you guys so excited? Mm -hmm. She looks like the 80s. Ooh, I look 80s. <laughs> and then we got some like baseball stuff and I did his hair like on a, like a wave. We're ready. Like I got the contour. <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't uh, been roller skating in a long time, so I'll show you what we're doing. skating and the boys went for the first time. What'd you guys think? Good. At first, Ezra didn't gooder. like it and he got gooder. <laughs> what do you think? It was fun. It was quite the workout. Oh. Wasn't all that roller skating so much fun? I mean, it was a blast from the past. We had a great time. Unfortunately, a couple people broke a bone, but you know what? That's just how we party. I'm just kidding. But really, they did break bones. But when I got to thinking about these 80s, I thought what would be a wonderful recipe to share today would be goulash. So I found a perfect recipe. I haven't had this since when they try to recreate it in Hamburger Helper. Uh, am I right? Who, how many people out there had Hamburger Helper as a kid? Me. So I made sure I try not to have Hamburger Helper for my kids. I think I've done pretty good so far. They didn't even know what it was. So <laughs> I'm gonna get going on the meat. I'm gonna bring you closer. And remember this video, at the end of this video, the recipe will be at the end of the video. So take a snapshot, write it down. It's super easy. Pretty much it's those ingredients. It's just pasta, some sauces, some tomatoes, olive oil, bay leaves, some seasonings, those kinds of good stuff. And you're just gonna cook it all together. So easy. So let's get started. Um, so I made a little alteration. I'm not going to put two pounds. I'm just going to use one just because I know my family. So um, we're just going to have with one and I actually use a little bit less of olive oil because I'm not going to be draining this. I'm just going to be adding the ingredients right to it. So I probably put less than a quarter cup. If you're just look, following along with the direction you can kind of make your own alterations, I would imagine, with uh, some of these ingredients. If you don't like onions, omit them, but we tend to use dehydrated onions so we can get the flavor. Um, so just something to think about. I'm just going to make sure this is all nice and brown and then add some onions and some garlic. Just put some um, garlic, just a little bit of onion. So it's gonna have some good taste. So this is the part that's going to take a little bit of time. So plan for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes or so for this part. It's gonna be about 20 minutes in this part and then 30 minutes with the pasta. So just remember that. So I added the water and now I'm going to put in the sauces and make sure this comes to a good little simmer and then I'm gonna cover it up. Oh, I also am going to add some tomatoes. 
I love having these things in my pantry so they're easy and go to like a recipe like this I barely had to buy anything because I try to stock it up with some of these petite tomatoes and then I'm going to also add um, some broth now I love to use a bouillon cube so I have a beef bouillon cube and I just kind of measured that out so I added the a little bit more water so that way it will become broth okay so that is I gave it a good stir and I'm just gonna check on it I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes and then I'll be adding the pasta oh don't forget to put it down to a simmer as well okay I forgot a couple of things which I'm not surprised so I'm just gonna add some Italian seasoning and some bay leaves. So we're gonna let that simmer in, um, in, the, in the 20 minutes as well. Now it can go. It's now been 20 minutes, so I'm going to take the lid off and add the pasta. So the 20 minutes happens really fast, so. I just ran upstairs, took off some jewelry, changed my shoes, and here I am. So now, while this is cooking, it's gonna cook for about um, 30 minutes, but the packaging says, you know, that it's fully cooked at 10, so I'm just gonna kinda keep my eye on it and just do when it is uh, fully cooked. So I'm gonna get that submersed and give it 30 minutes, but kinda checking on it. Okay, friends, so now all I'm going to do is take out these um, bay leaves and I'm going to add some salt and pepper, but I will tell you that it did not cook in 30 minutes. It cooked in 15. So um, in the recipe card at the end, I just kind of copied and pasted from my Pinterest recipe. So just remember, if, just to kind of be kind of close by and just kind of checking on the noodles. You don't want them to break down. And how much do I wanna add corn in here? Is that weird? Like I like adding corn sometimes to my spaghetti, but um, I won't, I'll refrain. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper and then I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. I'm so excited. So then when you're dishing up, I'll show you what we can put on top. All right, just adding some, about a cup or so. It actually made a lot, so I'm so excited to have leftovers for tomorrow for the kids. And um, I'm going to start dishing up here, kind of letting it cool down. Yum, yum. So it's still nice and hot, so I want it to cool down a little bit. But this is way better than Hamburger Helper, FYI. <laughs> but I'm going to put some in bowls. And then I'm gonna to top it with a tiny little bit of cheddar cheese that says to do that in the recipe. So this is looking so good. And then I made some uh, garlic bread for our side. So let me know in the comments if you have a recipe that's special to your family for goulash and how often do you eat it? Because I usually just make like a pasta dish, but this is kind of like an in-between pasta soup dish. So I am loving it. I know the boys will too, and it's a good thing. Maybe we need to bring them back more often for sure. Throw some cheese on top, and then I'll just let it cool down a tiny bit. That'll allow um, the cheddar cheese to melt and actually to let the soup cool down a little bit too. But I don't know how much longer we can wait. <laughs> we just came home from church and kids are hungry. So I thought I would give it a little taste before I give it to the kids. It's really hot. Oh, so good. It like brings back like actual childhood memories of eating like a box dinner. It's so funny. But of course, this is so much better because it's homemade. The seasonings are wonderful. It's got like a good saucy Italian-y taste to it. The kids are gonna love it, and they're probably gonna ask for more, honestly, because it is just that good. So thanks for stopping by. Let me know in the comments if you love the retro dinner 
and seeing us, Tina and I, uh, getting all 80s, and that was so much fun. So, of course, I had to do a retro dinner, that was so fun, of goulash. So remember, the recipe's at the end of the video. Take a snapshot and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone.